Hello, this is Pastor Sean, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how we, as Christians, can make decisions that are based upon God's perfect will and plan for our lives. So many times as Christians, we want to see God move in our lives. We want to see amazing things happen, and we want to see God move. But sometimes we choose to walk in the natural realm and we can make decisions based on our own logic and our own human reasoning instead of waiting for God to give us his revelation and his divine wisdom. We need wisdom as Christians today in order to walk the Christian walk effectively. And you know what? If we don't corroborate with the Lord before making decisions, we will not be able to make these decisions appropriately. So how do we make good decisions? How do we follow God's plan? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. And before I start, I want to pray for you all out there today who are watching this message, who are listening, and I have a word for you as well. So I'm going to start with prayer, and then we'll get started in our message. So let's pray. Lord, Father, God, I thank you today for all you do. I'm thanking you, Lord God, for your presence, your wisdom, your power. And I pray for everybody who's listening right now to this message. I pray that you would stir them up. I pray that you would stir up their soul. I pray that you give them peace, which passes all understanding. I come on an agreement right now, and I pray that your Holy Spirit would break any yoke of bondage that may be upon somebody right now. A yoke of bondage of spiritual oppression, or a yoke of bondage of fear, or some kind of uh, emotional distress, whatever it is that someone's going through right now who's watching this. I pray right now and come in agreement right now that you bless them, Father, with your presence, Lord. For those who are sick, I pray that you would touch them right now. I come in agreement with them right now. For those who are going through any struggles, Lord, with depression, I pray you'd lift it. For those who are struggling with relationships or loneliness, I pray, Lord, right now that you would be their comforter. You'd be their help. And I praise you and thank you for all you do. Bless this message in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, I want to get into the Word of God. I'm going to be reading out of the book of Proverbs chapter 14 today. And I believe that God has a word for you today. So let's go into Proverbs chapter 14. And I'm going to read verse 12. Proverbs 14 verse 12. What does it say? There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14 12 says there is a way which seemeth right unto a man. That's human reason, reasoning, that's logic, that's operating under our own understanding. There's a way that seems right unto us. But the Bible says, the end thereof are the ways of death. So what's that saying? A shortcut to success may cause us to be heading down a road of disaster, is what it is. Sometimes we think things seem right. We're waiting on God and we're waiting and we're saying, when are you going to move God? When are you going to make these things happen in my life? You know what? I think I must make a move. I think I have to make a decision because I don't see God moving. So this must be what God wants. So you know what? I need to make a decision. God does not want you to be making decisions on your own. God wants you to make decisions according to his plan. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and verse 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean and lean and lean not unto your own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. God says you've got to trust in him. The reason why we make decisions based on our own understanding, the reason why we get ahead of the Lord is because we don't let go and let God. We try to take matters into our own hands. And what happens is, is we lean on our own understanding because we're trying to do it on our own because we don't trust in the Lord with all our heart. So we're saying, Lord, I can't trust you to make this happen. I can't trust you to give me direction. So you know what? I'm going to lean on my own understanding. You know what? That's not what we need to be doing as Christians. We need to be waiting on God for his instruction. You say, how do I know when I hear from God? I'll give you many reasons how you would know. You read his word. His mind is his word. He may speak to you in the word of God and you may get the answer right there. Or you know what? You may turn on the radio or the TV and you hear somebody preaching and boom, that is it. 
That's what you've been waiting to hear from the Lord. And he speaks to you through preachers. Or you may get some kind of revelation. The Holy Spirit just speaks to you, speaks to your heart. And God's like, this is the way. Walk ye in it. So we need to listen to the Lord. So it says in Proverbs 14, 12, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. The natural man is contrary to the spiritual. It says the, the flesh wars against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. So what we want sometimes, what God wants, can, please, can be the complete opposite of one another. It could be our flesh is the antithesis of the Holy Spirit. Our flesh goes against the Spirit and the Spirit against the flesh. They're contrary to one another. Our flesh can be our biggest enemy. Sometimes we say the devil made me do it. Sometimes we made ourselves do it. We make decisions and we got to learn because it says the end are of the ways of death. What does that mean? We can make bad decisions because we did things that seemed right unto us. So wait on God. Listen to the Spirit. Pray. He will speak to you. Don't make hasty decisions. Verse 14 of Proverbs 14. I want to read this scripture too. It says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. So that scripture there in Proverbs 14, 14 says, a backslider shall be filled with his own ways. If you're a backslider, that means you don't seek the Lord. A backslider is somebody who is not in the center of God's will, but a drifting away from the Lord, kind of living alienated from God's presence. And what happens is they begin to get filled with their own ways, their own ideas, their own purpose, their own plan, their own agenda. What happens is they begin to make bad decisions because backsliders are filled with their own ways. So they make mistakes. So if you, here's another point. How do you overcome? You got to trust the Lord. You want to make right decisions? Trust the Lord. Let go and let God. That means trust the Lord. Turn it over to him and say, Lord, I am giving this to you. Two, get closer to the Lord because a backslider does his own thing. He's filled with his own ways. We don't want to be filled with our own ways. We want to be filled with God's ways. So if you are finding yourself operating on your own, making your own decisions, being kind of Lord of your own life instead of letting God be Lord, and you're just lording your life and making decisions like that, we need to get back in the presence of God and say, Lord, draw me close to you. Draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. This is what the Bible says. So... If we're backsliding, let's repent and say, Lord, draw me back to you. If we're making our own decisions, operating on our own, then we know that we're making decisions based out of the will of God, and then we're going to make a mistake, and it's going to come back to, to harm us in some way because if we're not waiting on God, it will sting when we make those decisions and we get ahead of the Lord. We don't want to get ahead of the Lord because, one, you know what? We're out of God's will, and two, we're vulnerable to the attack of the devil. We need to get right back where God wants us to be because he has an amazing plan. He has an amazing journey. His journey is going to take you to the um, to the land flowing with milk and honey. He wants to give you the promises. He wants to make your dreams become a reality. He wants you to step out and do what he says to do. Don't do what you want to do. Do what God's telling you to do. Whatever God's telling you to do, that's what you need to be doing. Not what you want to do, what God wants you to do. When God says do this, you need to do it. You need to step out and do what God's telling you. But wait until you hear him say it. If he keeps telling you over and over to do this, if you keep hearing his voice, if you keep hearing it in the word, if you keep hearing it all the time, that means God's saying he wants you to step out. How do you know it's time to do something? Is when God keeps confirming over and over, step out. He will show you. He's, he will show you the path of life. In his presence is fullness of joy. At thy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. He will show you the path of life. This is who God is. He will show it to you. It says a backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. It says but and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. What does that mean? A good man shall be satisfied from himself. These are Proverbs. This is wisdom. A good man is satisfied from himself, meaning he's not leaning on himself. He's leaning on Jesus. He's leaning on God. He's not He's not relying on himself. He's not all about self. He's all about God. He's putting self on the back burner. He's uh, crucifying the flesh. Like um, the book of Galatians says, I am crucified with Christ. Galatians 2.20, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth with me, liveth in me. I am crucified with Christ. I'm crucifying that flesh, and I'm going to let the Spirit rule and reign. I'm going to let go of these things. I'm going to stop trying to figure everything out, and I'm going to let God figure it out. I'm going to move when God says move. What does it say in verse 15 of Proverbs 14? It says, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well 
to his going. What does that scripture have to do with making decisions and letting go and letting God and following his path? What does that mean? The prudent, or actually the simple, believeth every word. What does that mean? A simple person is going to listen to people, get an instruction from all kinds of people, and they're going to tell you, buckle up and do it. You know, God helps those who help themselves. You need to step out and do this and do that. You know what? You don't need to listen to all these people and advice. Maybe you're getting bad advice. Don't believe every word you hear from people. This says, the counsel of the Lord should, that shall stand. What does God say? Not You can get advice. You can get you know, counsel, but make sure you take it to God and, and, and let it minister to your spirit and make sure that it is from the Lord, what people say, because the simple believe every word. I could give you horrible advice and then you make those decisions, you get out of the will of God, you can make a mess of everything. What you need to do is get God's wisdom in everything. Yes, listen to people, but make sure it's godly advice. And even if it's godly advice, someone who's godly, take it to the Lord, make sure that's God's heart, amen. But it says here, a prudent man looketh well to his going. If you're a prudent man or a prudent woman, you're going to look well. You're going to seek the Lord's face before you make a decision. And you're going to let go and let God because God knows exactly what needs to be done. He's going to direct your path. Trust in him. If he's not showing you what to do right now, then that's time to wait on him. If he's just saying, wait on me, if he's not giving you anything, that means he may not be open it up right yet because maybe his timing is a little bit later. He will show you. Say, what am I going to know? Wait on God. Trust in him. At the due season of your decision, he will show you and you will be blessed. Amen. So if you've been blessed by this message today, I encourage you to hit subscribe below and you can go make a comment in the comment section. And I just wanted to say, God bless you and you have a wonderful day. And I believe that you are going to make those good and proper decisions. God bless you.